I'm flabbergasted at how quickly NYU's acceptance rate has declined. It's at 12% when just a few years ago, not even a decade ago, it was in the 30s. 100,000 applications. Some of the schools are actually in the single digits acceptance rate. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new here, my name is Darcy and I talk a lot about NYU on my channel. Um, and today's video, I just feel the need to make. No one requested it, but I'm like, how can I not talk about this? Which is the fact that NYU's acceptance rate was just announced for the class of 2025. And it is 12%, um, which has just, deeply declined in the last few years and it is so wild to me. It's so fascinating. Um, I have mixed feelings about it so I just really want to sit down and talk about it. I am not an expert. Um, I have some facts from the NYU website but a lot of this is also just speculation because there's not a lot of transparency about acceptance rates. Um, but NYU very proudly shared that 12% statistic. So I did want to talk about it because so many people who find my channel are interested in NYU, want to apply, obviously want to be accepted. So I thought I would sit down and share what comes to mind for me, the knowledge that I have, maybe it could help you understand what this means, and all of that. So for those who are new to my channel, um, a little bit on my backstory real quick. I applied and got accepted to NYU as a transfer student for undergrad to the College of Arts and Sciences and I started in January of 2018. I ended up graduating in May of 2019, so fairly quickly, um, but I was studying journalism and sociology at the time. Then I had a year out of school, um, was glad to be done at the for the moment, but then decided to go back to graduate school um, post-COVID hitting and just a lot of things coming into play. So now I'm currently a grad student in publishing at the School of Professional Studies. So I've seen NYU from a lot of angles. I will say I have not seen it from applying as a senior in high school angle. I did not do that. Um, so this is just from a lot of research, talking to so, so many of you all. Um, so, but I have done it from the transfer app experience and the grad school experience and obviously I applied as a senior in high school to a lot of schools as well. So that is my backstory and what I'm coming at this with. So the main reason I wanted to make this is just I'm flabbergasted at how quickly NYU's acceptance rate has declined in the last few years. Um, so as I said, 12.8% was the acceptance rate for the undergraduate class of 2025. Um, which I'm obviously not a part of, but basically every single year in the last decade, the acceptance rate has gone down. It's even halved in the past like few years. So according to NYU press releases, it was about 35% in 2013. I'm just reading off of my computer here. So it was 28% in 2017 and then dipped huge like 9% by 2018 it was 19%. It's just wild though that it's at 12% when just a few years ago, not even a decade ago, it was in the 30s. So one, that means my degree is getting more prestigious. So I'm glad about that, but it's also really sad because I just hear from so many of you all who want to get in and it's just getting more and more competitive. Um, and it's not entirely clear why, but essentially this year they passed 100,000, 100, thousand applications for the undergraduate programs which is just wild and of course the spots aren't getting any higher there's not increasing um so that means the acceptance rate is going down mathematically which NYU of course likes because it makes the school look even better than it already did um 35 percent acceptance rate is like a really good school but 12 percent acceptance rate is a really really good school very competitive um so now there's a lot of caveats to that so one major point I want to make is a lot of people don't realize that there are a lot of schools within NYU and that about half of the population is actually graduate students, um, something like that. I don't know all of the statistics. This is where you have to take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. I'm not an admissions person. I'm just someone who's studied and made a lot of content about NYU. According to some of the research that I've seen online, the, some of the schools are actually in the single digits acceptance rate, which is where there's just such a spectrum and that 12% statistic oversimplifies it a little bit. Um, but Stern, the business school, which is really well known, might be about 8% acceptance rate. And CAS, College of Arts and Sciences, is the biggest school, I believe, for New York City. Um, 
and that the acceptance rate is around 9% according to recent things the dean said. And the medical school is actually 2% acceptance rate, which is just wild, especially now that they've made it um, tuition free, I believe last I heard so my point is there's just such a spectrum versus my graduate program now at SBS. SBS is not a school people tend to think of with NYU. It's a professional program, skills based um, and I don't know what the acceptance rate is but I highly doubt it is that low um, just because I don't think there's as many people applying to it so you know there's just not as much competition to fill those spots and I think it's partly a self-selected group. Um, like if you're really interested in the program, like that's just going to be a smaller niche of people. So that's where there is just such a range. And it definitely seems like the undergraduate experience is a lot more competitive to get in than graduate. I don't know, that probably depends on the program. Like I bet Stern's MBA program is really competitive, but um, definitely some of them I don't think are as competitive because there's just not like this huge pool of seniors of high school all competing for that. And then the other part of my experience that a lot of you have also resonated with is my transfer experience. Um, like I said, I didn't apply to NYU as a senior in high school. I just didn't even consider it. Looking at these stats, who knows if I would have gotten in or whatever. Um, but this was also several years ago, so I would have had a much higher chance of getting in. Um, and so there's kind of debate on transfer acceptance stats. It's likely a little bit higher but it's still pretty competitive because, you know, there's a lot of people who actually want to apply to NYU as a transfer and only so many spots year to year. Um, so if you are interested in NYU though and are really terrified of that acceptance rate and maybe don't get in um, your first round, transferring is a great option. You get a second chance and if you've proved yourself um, with, you know, college transcripts, you might have a better shot. I feel like that helped me because I showed I could have done really well. I was doing really well at my school at the time. So am I going to be successful at the collegiate level? I have tons of videos on that. That's not the point of this video. Check those out during center transferring. But my point being that there's like kind of this just huge variant of acceptance rates of ways to get in. Also, if you're already in the school, I think it's probably easier to switch to another school within the, in the program. I think you might still have to apply. Um, but if you're already in NYU, it's probably easier to switch between schools than just to apply to it, you know, cold turkey. It's still just really wild to me how quickly and steeply this decline in acceptance rate has happened. So just how quickly it's gotten competitive in just a few years. Like, it just blows my mind and I don't know exactly why it happens. Um, as like a sociological thinker, I really wonder and have hypotheses, but don't have a ton of evidence to back any of this up. I'd be curious what you all think, so comment down below if you have any thoughts on why the acceptance rate has declined so quickly, um, because a lot of you are, you know, interested in, especially if you're watching this video, obviously, you might have some thoughts, and I'd definitely be curious to know, um, the thing that clearly, you know, in general is true is that NYU is a dream school for a lot of people, or just like an aspirational school, um, that it's just, it's a name brand, it's in New York City, it has so many different programs, like such a spectrum of things that it's really good at, and a lot of selling points that draw people in, it's in the heart of, you know, the best city in the world, in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, um, and it's in the village, which is just such a happening, trendy place, so it's just very enticing to a lot of people, um, both in America and as well as internationally, which I think is one of the main reasons that's also competitive is the international student population is very large at NYU. So you're not only competing with um, people in the United States, you're competing on a global scale, which is true for plenty of really good colleges, but NYU in particular, that seems to be the case. So I think that's probably where it just is so competitive and increasingly so as many international students look to come to the US. Um, this is one way to do it. And just, I think a lot of people, this is another one of my thoughts, are interested in moving to urban areas right now. Um, it seems like people our age are a lot more liberal and would be interested in moving to a more liberal place like New York City and just the ample opportunities here. Um, just all things that are really enticing, like I said. So my guess is that's why we're seeing an increase in accept or increase in applications that are then decreasing the acceptance rate. I also just think it's talked about in the media a lot. Um, you know, we see it referenced in TV shows and books, like all sorts of different things. And that's something particularly new, but it just continues to be the same brand. And I think NYU's marketing is somehow genius and just speaks to people. And it's made it this entity that um, is very 
I don't know, people want to go to NYU. And there's plenty of other good schools in New York City, um, which I didn't really realize until I came here, but there's a lot of really good schools here. There's not as competitive besides Columbia, obviously, so that's where New York, like, I would say NYU is like the second best school in New York City, and that's like very good for a lot of people because it's like you it's still feasible to get in uh, but it also still looks really good and also the networking opportunities are practically endless because most people in white collar jobs either went to NYU or know someone who went to NYU I feel like it's just so common everyone just went there and know someone there and that's a privileged place to be I know um, but that's where if you want to be kind of in that white collar service industry I feel like there's a lot to be said for the ability to network through NYU. So, and the other thing that is interesting, and I'm clearly very biased in favor of NYU in this discussion, but obviously Columbia is an interesting case as well because it's an Ivy, but it is in a big city, so it's a little different. However, I have never applied to, to Columbia in my three rounds of college applications um and obviously it's an incredible school so many so many very smart people go there uh, a lot of people in new york city have gone there um so it's nothing against columbia in particular it's just that the location in my opinion isn't very good it's on the far upper west side kind of away from everything like i've literally been up there like maybe once in the three plus years that I've lived here and maybe that's just probably my type of personality. I'm not exactly an Upper West Sider. I live in Williamsburg and work in media and I'm a writer so it's not like that's really my cup of tea but I think that's true for a lot of people. A lot of people who are interested in New York are very diverse, come from all sorts of different backgrounds and aren't necessarily like that type of person even though Columbia is just like so competitive and seen as such as you know amazing school in an Ivy that is in New York. So all that to be said, I think NYU has this th the selling point of being in the village, um, the heart of culture in the city, and it's also just, it's so easy to get almost anywhere from where NYU is located, which not enough people kind of talk about, because if you're not, if you're new to the city, you might not realize that, but that's where they love to say at NYU, like, this is one of their slogans, that the city is our campus, and, like, it's kind of cheesy, but it's also really accurate as a selling point, because you really can get anywhere fairly quickly from NYU which is not the case from all schools in the New York City area um, and yeah I feel like even with the pandemic it's been surprising that this is the year that they passed like a hundred thousand applications um, because like so many people are like New York is dead which is false um, but like that's where it's still like a place people want to be especially as undergraduates it seems like and there's just so much the school has to offer in that sense and I sound like I'm trying to sell NYU but I'm just trying to understand like why this like acceptance rate has just shot down so quickly and I think that might be why so it's just becoming even more enticing like as someone who did go to a more rural suburban area for college at first like it was just not the best college experience and it's gonna be different for everyone but it seems like more and more people maybe want that urban college experience even though you're kind of losing out on a campus a little bit but that's where at least NYU is in Washington Square Park so you do have this central area still so I never expected my channel to be NYU focused when I started it I just did it on a whim and it kind of started out more talking about transferring but my views are almost all solely from NYU based content like it's just so wild to me how obsessive people can get about NYU maybe some of you included and nothing against that because obviously I kind of am too um, given how much money I've shelled out to the school and you know how much I do talk about it and that is part of my life um, but it's just so interesting to me like what, how this has happened and that so many people love the NYU content and just get so obsessed with it so I don't know I don't really have a moral of the story here I don't have like a way to just be like you're gonna get in I wish I could say that to all of you um but obviously it's getting more and more competitive so I'm just gonna plug my content first okay which is that I have so much talking about applying to NYU I mean I have like three years worth of NYU content about what it's like to go here so yeah if you made it this far in the video, thanks for listening to my two cents, and I'd be interested to hear yours. Um, just this is the fact of what it is right now, which is 
applications are going up and acceptance rate goes down and this is where we're at. Um, I'm glad I'm not applying as an undergraduate right now but that doesn't mean you can't get in because you know thousands of people are still getting in um, which is something to be aware of and think about why you really want to go to the school, how to sell yourself if you are applying and it's just interesting overall like the way college admissions is shifting right now so all right I'm gonna get off my little soapbox and I will talk to you all later.